Mark Brighouse and Christopher Baldock present the Bioclimatic Skyscraper. Canary Wharf, a banal collection of monoculture towers, magnificent gas covers of the 20th century, busy by day, deserted at night, yet the lights blaze away. Now is the time of change. It is no longer acceptable to design gleaming glass monoculture towers. For tall buildings to survive, they must become self-sufficient, multifunctional, multi-typology, and above all else, generate their own power, treat their own waste, and be of bioclimatic design. How does one articulate a vertical street? Dividing the tower into villages that allows a more human scale, whilst retaining all the benefits of high-rise living. Canary Wharf is an island that requires connecting to its surroundings again. Towers must become multifunctional and multi-typological. We have chosen to include a high school to encourage more families to return to Canary Wharf. With families and children comes the heightened requirement for gardens, greenery, and places to escape city life. Multiple routes converge at the North Quay site, enabling a bridge to be formed between two entirely contrasting communities. Sky gardens enhance the health and well-being of all inhabitants. They also enable the absolute use of natural ventilation. Sky garden positioning will be combined with the placement of vertical axis wind turbines throughout the upper regions of the tower. The school is located at the base with two residential towers and one office tower twisting above. Public realms will be located on the ground floor with bars and cafes and a wind farm with gardens at the top. Transportation, power generation and movement are at the heart of the building's athletic design. It is essential for inhabitants and bystanders to see how a bioclimatic skyscraper really performs and operates if there's to be any hope of changing our lazy, somebody else's problem attitude towards climate change. can only be accessed by passing through fast lane security barriers on the ground floor. Residents, office employees and the public en route to the rooftop gardens and wind farms will pass through multiple different sky gardens and experience ever-changing views into and out of the tower.
sports facilities are located on the lower ground floor but kept private from the promenade bars and restaurants during school hours. The ground floor is entirely in the public realm but providing secure access to the offices and apartments and the school. A typical village floor plate contains three two bed and one four bed family apartments and open plan office floor plates of 200 square meters minimum. Facing atriums gather maximum ambient light to the offices. Recycled polycarbonate walls of the residential towers will be clad with PV panels on the south facing elevations. 